All right. Y'all ready? It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen. What pitch should you always be hunting? Fastball. fastball. So if I'm always hunting a fastball, that pitch moves in a straight line. Okay, easiest pitch to hit. All right. Most of the time, you've probably, all your years, you've heard get the barrel to the ball, get the barrel out front, um, drive your top hand through, all these kind of things. All right. Those are not necessarily bad cues. You do want to do all those things. You do want your top hand to go through. You do want to catch the ball out front. We do want to get the barrel to the ball. But if I asked you, say, 10 at bats, how many times are you dead on time? At bats, not BP. At bats, how many times are you dead on time right here? Just not a lot, right? Once, twice, maybe. Okay. So the other seven or eight, nine times, what's happening? This is our sweet spot. We're missing this, right? We're down here and we're up here. Okay, so we're giving ourselves like this much opportunity to hit the ball hard, right? You gotta be perfect. Well, if I'm trying to be perfect, let's say that that pitch right there in the middle is the one that I'm trying to hit. Let me spread this out some. Okay, if this is the pitch that I'm trying to get to right there in the middle, all right, if I'm trying to be perfect with my barrel, boom, I got that, but what back here? Jam, right? Right there. What about out here? Off the end of the bat. So if that's the pitch that I'm swinging at, that's where I'm trying to make contact, and I'm early, boom, now I'm rolling over. Crown ball shortstop. If I'm back here, well, now I'm jammed, and I'm shooting that ball to the first baseman's face, okay? All right? That's what's happening when we're geared off of this hand. How many of y'all are right-handed hitters and throwers? Everybody? You throw? Uh, I switch it throw left. Throw left, okay? So this will probably be a little easier for you, a little yeah. simpler for you. Right-handed guys and left-handed guys, too. Your top hand, most of the time, is your dominant hand, right? So you naturally feel this wanting to go to the ball. Okay, so when that happens, think about extension. If I'm trying to catch that ball out front, my top hand's going to get it, now I'm off the end of the bat. That's not real good extension, is it? I'm off the end of the bat. So I don't want to be thinking so much about what's happening here and what's happening here. I want to focus on what's going to get this in the best position, which is going to be the knob. You've all heard knob the ball, swing the knob, right? Things like that. Okay, well, if I'm thinking knob to the ball, and a lot of folks put a ball on the tee and they say knob to the ball. They go like this, right? Okay, well, how many times does the pitch come from that direction? Never. It comes from here. So I've gotten to feel myself not trying to drive my top hand to it, but trying to drive my bottom hand inside the ball with my top hand supporting. If I can go here, now look. I'm late, but what happens there? Smoke the line drive, right? Here. Dead on time. Here. Boom. All in the sweet spot. So now you just swung, and now I'm late, but it don't look like it because I shoot one there. Now I'm early, and it don't look like it because that ball probably gets up, get out of the park because I caught it out front. That makes sense? Okay. So what we're going to do this bat is a, let me see the, hold on. Need one hand. This is the bat we're going to start with, okay? Everything we're going to do here today is going to be geared off the straight line. Fastball is the only pitch we're looking for. You're going to see at least one in every at bat you have, right? So if you're going to see one, all you got to do is hit that one. If you can hit that one, then you don't have to worry about curveball, change up, slider, none of the other stuff, okay? So what we're going to work on here, called one hand, no feet, no shoulders. From the waist up in your swing, what do you do? Rotate there. What do you? Anybody else? The waist up. Okay. If I rotate up top, think about this. Okay. My bottom hand can't reach that ball now, right? I don't want to rotate up here. The only thing we do up here is take our hands to the ball. Okay. So we're going to be doing this drill right here, driving our knob past that ball and letting that barrel whip through naturally. Okay, a lot of times we're trying to create bat speed, we're trying to create whip through the zone, and we try to do it by swinging the bat around. Okay, well if I think about just keeping a loose grip to the point that bat can slide in my hand and just drive to the pitcher, that's bat speed, maximum bat speed. See how the bat just whips through the zone? Okay, and the whole time it's whipping through the zone, my sweet spot's in the way of the ball. I want that, right? I want to be early and still be good. I want to be late and still be good. All right, so we're going to split two here, two here. We'll put balls on the tee. 
Um, yep. Brian's going to be in this cage. I'll go over there in that cage with y'all. And we're going to start the one hand trainer. This is what the drill is going to look like if, if we're doing full speed. Y'all come back here. <laughs> And I'll preface this with saying, this is going to feel different than anything you've ever felt. Yep. It's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel like, man, this, don't, this thing will help me. But what you're going to understand is, again, which hand has more extension that put that way? My bottom makes total sense, right? So if I'm trying to do this, I'm not getting full extension. I'm missing the ball. I've got to be able to keep my bat in the straight line that the pitch is moving on as long as possible. And any time my top hand tries to drive too far, I'm not going straight, I'm going around in a circle. Come back this way, I don't want to hit you. So we're gonna line up front foot in line with the tee. Ball's gonna be on the outside part of the plate. All we're focusing on is staying inside of the baseball. Okay, I don't wanna see hands going out to it. I wanna really try to miss the ball with my hand. Just drive my hand past it. Don't roll over it though. First swing of the day, boys. Drive my hand past the ball. Hey, Jay. All right, gotta get warmed up, dude. <laughs> what do y'all see with my barrel? I'm getting loose. Y'all yeah. see the barrel getting out here? Okay. There you, go. there you saw my hand should be more here, right? Watch it again. Okay. That's with one hand now. You can hit the ball hard with one hand. It's just gonna take some muscles. You're gonna feel a lot of your tricep, a lot of your forearm, you're going to hear us talk a lot about your front elbow. Okay. If I'm just thinking hand to the ball, I'm going to get a lot of this, yeah. which is putting me in a bad spot. So I've got to feel this whole part of my arm driving in that straight line. See the difference in how my bat ends up? This is the position you're shooting for, not this. Got it? Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Two and two. <laughs> 